Hi, Sam Griffin here, trying to make your holidays even better by informing you what it is that you should get women for Christmas, part two. Enjoy and kick butt in life. Hey, welcome to part two of what men should buy women for Christmas. In part one, we learned that a woman more than anything else wants a gift that is a surprise to her that she can't believe that her boyfriend remembered. And uh, it's just, you know, it just has thoughtfulness written all over it, right? You know, the level of thought put into it was very high. And this reminds me of the old saying that you hear all the time, but never really connected it until now. That when you hear a woman say, well, it doesn't matter what he gets, it's the thought put into it. Now, that, that just you know, reaffirms that everything from part one was spot on. It is about the thought put into it more than the price put into it. So do keep that in mind. So what, what are some strategies that you can use to pull all this off? You know, and I want to say up front here that I cannot tell you exactly what it is that you should buy your individual girlfriend or wife or whatever. Nobody can do that, but I can give you some guidelines. Okay, first of all, and I've made this mistake before, don't buy a girl what you want. You know, for example, I bought my wife once a nine inch nails t-shirt because honestly, I thought she would look hot in it, right? So this is the exact same thing as a girl buying a man a sweater because she thinks he'll look cute in it. So it's the same thing. You you know, a guy should never buy a girl what you think she would want, okay? Or what you want her to have, you know? Don't buy her, uh, don't buy her music that you think she will get into, you know, stuff like that. The other thing that you gotta be super careful of is you can never, and I don't think, on any level of marriage, I mean, you could be, you know, a fresh couple dating, or you could be someone who has been married for 30 years. But what you can never do is ask a girl her size. I mean, you just can't do that. You can't say, uh, yeah, honey. Um, so are you a large, like you can't do that. You can, there's no way that that is going to go over very well. And so you got to be careful when you buy sizes of clothes because women love clothes. There's no doubt about it. You know, you're going to go out and you're going to go shopping and you're going to have to inevitably buy some clothes. But if you get it too big, then then she's going to think, oh, my gosh, he thinks I'm a blimp or whatever. If you get it too small, then she's got to take it back and realize she's got to get the size that's bigger than what you think she is. So she's going to th again, think I'm a blimp or whatever, right? And this is just how I think women think. So how do you fight this? This is a no win situation right there. I think the way that you have to do it and you can't go through her drawers or anything creepy like that again, no matter what, but what you can do is other women that are her friends, or maybe family, sisters, girlfriends of hers, whatever, they know what sizes, what, what sizes to buy her. And they know what colors to buy her and that kind of stuff. Colors, right? You know, believe it or not, women love certain colors, you know, so you got to get the right thing. Um, so what you do is you just uh, call them up and say, hey, you know, what size should I buy in, in a shirt or whatever? You know, and then they'll help you out. And if you can somehow take them shopping with you or just go through a store and, uh, you know, one of her girlfriends will be like, or maybe sister, or whatever, it'll be like, uh, yeah, she likes this and she would like this and like that. I mean, that, that's gold money to a guy right there because you really have no idea. Most guys have no idea what to buy. So, and you know, a lot of people would think, well, is this, is this creepy to do that? I don't think so. I think most women would think, well, that's, that's thoughtful, you know, because I'm going to get the right thing. And, you know, they were working extra hard for this gift. So I think that's, I think that's, uh, not out of bounds to do at all. Now, never underestimate. Here's a pro tip, a couple pro tips, never underestimate the card. Okay. That card, that Christmas card that you're going to give her, uh, is basically going to turn into a love letter. Right? And that's what it should turn into. Don't just sign your name on that crap. 
like you need to open that thing up it doesn't matter what kind of card it is you know just it could be a funny card it could be a serious card you know but inside that card you're gonna write some extremely thoughtful stuff and you're gonna open it up and tell her how much she means to you that is uh, gold money right there to a girl she's gonna keep that card forever that card is gonna outlive every gift that you give her so don't screw the card up a lot of guys think well you know if I write this out I'm gonna sound stupid okay you're not gonna sound stupid you're stupid if you don't do this so do keep that in mind. You're not going to sound stupid. You got to open up and do it. Now, also, some advanced pro tips when giving gifts to a woman that you love for Christmas. If you can pull off getting some roses in the room, okay? Now, when you, you know, when you get the roses in the room, you don't, you don't announce the fact that you just put flowers in the room. You just make them magically appear in the room. So on Christmas morning, it's like, oh, look, roses, right? And that's massive points right there. Cha-ching. Like you're going to get points for that. And they're there to accent the environment, okay? So if you're going to get roses, here's some pro tips on roses, by the way. You want to get roses in numbers that are divisible by three except one. So in other words, it's okay to get one rose or six which is divisible by three or 12 if you want to go crazy and get two dozen that's divisible by three that's okay uh but don't put five out there because that's weird right i don't know how you even get five roses but that's crazy uh women could count that and be like well you know most of the time it's six roses and there are only five where's the other rose at and then their mind starts wandering okay you can't do that one rose is fine also if you can get some chocolate going on while the gifts are being opened, right? There's something, and I'll let you read into this, but there's something about chocolate and the brain and the emotional, uh, like jump start that chocolate has on our brains. So again, I'll let you read into that, but get some chocolate going on there. And also if she's into, you know, her favorite drink like uh, hot tea let's say it's hot tea get the hot tea going for her you know don't make her get up and make it you make it for her so you got the hot tea going you got roses in the background right you got chocolate going on so you're like you need to be like a boxer right and you got the you got the roses bam all right that's the left jab and then you got the chocolate going up boom that's the uppercut and then you got the you got the hot tea boom and you're knocking this out right and then your gift is thoughtful so when you put a thoughtful gift combined with all the other things then it's a killer experience for a woman and if you can pull this off again you are going to have the mother load of points and you're going to win in the boyfriend challenge and if you don't know what that is go back and watch part one of this series and uh, if you really want to understand both sides of it you should probably go back and watch uh, what a woman should buy a man for Christmas and I think it'll all tie together and make sense so that's it good luck guys shopping hi Sam Griffin here trying to make your holidays better by teaching you like the Pythagorean theorem because that's good that makes you, that makes your holiday better <laughs> right Hi, Sam Griffin here. Trying to make your holidays better. That's that's what I'm doing. I'm making it better. I'm going to make it better by saying crap. Hi, Sam Griffin here. Trying to make your holidays better by informing you what to I don't know what to get women. That's stupid. I don't <laughs> don't even try. Hi, Sam Griffin here. Trying to make your holidays better by <laughs> you just sneezed. Like stop sneezing. Stop it. <coughs> Hi, Sam Griffin here, trying to make your holidays even better by informing you what it is that you should get a woman for Christmas. That was stupid right there. That was really bad. It was stupid.